Hi guys, it's Tyler from 402 Outdoors, and today we're going to be making some of these little pocket fire starters that we used in our previous video and in many of our stuff to come. So what they are, are they are these little makeup cotton rounds. You can get them from your wife's bathroom, you can get them from Walgreens, from Walmart. Up to you depends on how single you want to be in your life. You need lighter fluid and a cheap candle. We get these from Walmart. They are 97 cents. We've learned just from trial and error of a couple different ones that using a harder wax candle is generally better than something that's soft, something you can crush with your fingers. So look for something pretty solid, something that's you can shave off. And essentially the process that we're going to use is it's called a double boiler system. Get a, a pan that you can heat up somehow, whether it's over a fire, whether it's over the stove. You're going to fill it with water and you're going to melt that wax down into one of these little pie tins. So we use one of these little pie tins there for making little homemade pot pies or anything like that. You can find them at the grocery store sometimes. We order these off Amazon. You can get them in pretty cheap bulk packs. And it's a lot better than using a glass bowl or something out of your kitchen that somebody in your house could get mad about. So essentially what we're going to do from here is you're going to take your pot and you're going to add water right on into it and get that boiling. You don't necessarily want it at an, a rolling boil because you don't want it to flip your pie tin over. Just enough to get that water nice and hot to melt the wax. So what we're going to do is we're going to start to shave this candle off into our pie tin here. You can use a potato peeler, a pocket knife, a kitchen knife, whatever you have laying around. I've just learned that using a potato peeler generally makes it pretty quick and safe and easy. And you're just going to start by shaving that thing right on into that pie tin. Just dig that peeler straight in nice and deep and get big chunks of wax down into there. It will take just a little bit of time to get some built up but the end result will be awesome. All right, so now that we have got a good portion of this wax shaven off into our pie tin, we will go ahead and add it to our pan that we have with boiling water on the stove. And that pie tin should float quite nicely in that boiling water. And what's gonna, happen here is we are melting all that wax down to a nice good liquid consistency and you will take these cotton rounds here and your lighter fluid and all you are going to do is just put that right in the center of that cotton round flip it over for just a two count, and you are good to go. So I will generally just have a couple of those ready to go, just two or three at a time. You don't want to do too many of them because, as we all know, lighter fluid does evaporate over time. So if you pre-make too many of them, you will not have any lighter fluid on your cotton rounds when you go to dip them to seal them in the wax. That is one of the benefits of doing the wax sealing is they are completely waterproof, so whether it is rain, snow, or a bad trip out of the canoe and into the lake, you will still have dry tinder to start a fire in any situation. Now I would highly recommend that when you are dipping these into the wax here, just for the safety sakes of your fingers, is to use a pair of just long needle nose pliers barely grip that cotton round right on the edge like that just so you can make sure you get a full submersion into the wax and also let go of the cotton round when it's in the wax just to make sure that it gets to the part that you were gripping that with. So we will take this here now and we are going to dip it down in our wax. Make sure you get both sides fully submersed and then I will take it out here and I am just going to go ahead and set this on this drying rack that I have here. Make sure you put some newspaper or paper towels or something underneath it. That way you're not dropping wax onto your countertop. Not always the most fun thing to get out of there.
All right, guys. So after you have finished dipping all of your cotton rounds in the wax and you've given them plenty of time to dry on your drying rack here, I'd recommend anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes just to make sure that everything is good to go. We will give you a demonstration on essentially how they work and how easily they are to start a fire. All right, guys. So now what we're going to do is we are going to put one of these in action. So you've got your cotton round that is fully sealed up in wax. What you need to do is you need to actually bust that open. What I would recommend is just kind of flaring out the center of it so you get some of that lighter fluid soaked cotton exposed in the middle. After that, you will take your fire starter, whatever you choose, whether it's flint and steel, matches, lighter, what have you. Get that right down into that exposed cotton and give it I can get it without all this wax on my finger. And there you have it. So that cotton and lighter fluid lights up there and then that wax that we sealed in there is going to act just like a candle. And these things will burn for a very extended amount of time. And these things can really be a lifesaver when you are out in the woods, when your tinder is dry, when you can't find any bark, dry grass, you can have one of these to light up to really help get your fire going. can see you had well over six inches of flame burning for over seven minutes um, you know testing this in prior we've we've gotten seven minutes we've gotten ten minutes so if you can't get a fire started with seven continuous minutes of six inches of hot flame then it's it's gonna be a rough time out in the woods for you but these things are awesome they, they've kept us warm in in the winter and they're extremely easy and cheap to make you can make it with household goods that most people have around and then $10 at your local store. So definitely something that you should go ahead and try to make a couple. And if you guys make some and find some stuff that's different and that you guys think works better, you know, let us know. We are always willing to you know, work with people and, and try out different things to just make everybody's times out in the outdoors better. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow us on YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram, and be looking forward to more tips and tricks videos. If you like these type of videos, please let us know in a comment below, and hopefully we'll be seeing from us again soon. Thanks. Bye.